Good afternoon Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, September 9 to 11, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set, beginning today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. We don't have any major weather system affecting the Philippine Islands except for those afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by local convection, local heating. And uh, within the Philippine area of responsibility, we have a developing shallow low pressure area. Shallow means a very weak system and it's uh, embedded within the usual surface trough which we spotted a couple of days ago. And this LPA is currently quasi-stationary and for the next two days expected to move slowly towards the north. So we don't have any problem for this system. It is expected to just remain a low pressure area but we are going to keep an eye on this system for possible changes in the computer models in the coming days. Uh, meanwhile, outside of the Philippine area responsibility, uh, we have a uh, surface trough here southeast of Palau and we got 96W uh, low pressure area which is uh, have a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. Based on the uh, global computer models, this LPA will somewhat dissipate within the next 48 hours so this is nothing to worry about as well up north here over the uh, southern islands of japan we have an early uh, stationary front although it's now september and we have also a very light winds from the northeast affecting the coastal areas of northern Quezon, Bicol region and northern summer but it is uh, not yet uh, categorized as northeasterly since the wind is less than 15 kph especially along the inland sections of this region watch out for lightning strikes uh, possible uh, flash floods when we have a uh, when a strong or severe thunderstorm passes over your area and uh, that's the latest from our graph set and as we look at our fast animation you can see here the developing shallow LPA to the east of Bicol region. It's uh, around 1,000 kilometers near the Philippine area of responsibility, but it's not. It's nothing to worry about. And as we look at our zoom-in satellite animation for the Philippine Islands, this is from Windy.com, UMETSAT satellite server. As you can see, as the uh, afternoon progresses, lots of thunderstorms popping out around the archipelago which is uh, normal for a tropical climate and since we are going into a La Nina climate within the next uh, month and moving forward so we could expect increasing uh, rainfall activity beginning October until the end of the year to early next year so watch out for that let's hope and pray there's no cyclone affecting our country this, this last quarter Meanwhile, here's the windy.com wind and rain forecast from the uh, European model ECMWF. Uh, in the morning, tomorrow, Thursday, still good weather, but in the afternoon we could expect another round of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in most parts of the country, as well into Friday afternoon. So this is uh, still the same weather situation for the next two days. And you can see here the uh, possible uh, weak LPA or shallow LPA over to the east of northern Luzon. Okay, so far uh, before we leave you, here's the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. And you can see here beginning uh, September 9 to September 15 for week 1, we can see some below average rainfall across the Philippine Islands while uh, over the uh, area of equatorial asia we could see a possible above average rainfall and come uh, september 16 to september 22 or week two we could still uh, see some below average rainfall across luzon and normal climate across other parts of the country but so far so good there's no uh, uh, low pressure area or tropical cyclone developing 
elsewhere across the Western Pacific until September 22. But we are going to always look at the Pacific for possible rapid development of a low pressure area. We'll let you know in the coming days. So far, that's the latest from our tropical weather analysis here at Typhoon 2000, and we will be returning again on Friday to give you more updates. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, be hashtag typhoonwiser, and thank you for watching our weather channel.